Hi everyone, welcome to this next week tutorial. In this video, I'm going to take you through creating your very own personalized and interactive video templates on next week. Let's get started. So I am in the video template section of NextWeave and within that public template library. Now the video editor can be accessed in two ways. In any template that you have, whether it's in the public library or your private library, you click on the menu against the template and select clone. So this will create a copy of the selected template, which you can edit. The other option, which is what we're going to be exploring during the course of this video, is to create a new template from scratch. So from either the public template library or your private templates page, click on create new template. This will launch the next week video editor. The first thing you see when you try to create a template from scratch is a model asking you to set a default device type. Now next week actually allows you to create two separate videos, one compatible with the desktop view and one with the mobile device and serve them directly through the same link. You can learn more about how to design for different device types using additional resources such as our knowledge base and YouTube tutorials. For now, let's leave this option to know and click on confirm. So this is the next week video editor. This video editor can roughly be divided into three parts. The first is the video canvas. So this contains the base or the background video that you've added to next week and will also display the components that you add as layers on top of the video. On the right hand side, we have the components and properties panels. So this contains a list of all the components or elements that you can add as layers onto the next week video and you can adjust their properties from here as well. Lastly, at the bottom of the canvas, we have the timeline or the components manager. This is where for each component that you add to a video, you can set the start and end time or the duration for which it should appear within the video. You can also make certain adjustments to each component from here, such as deleting a particular component, hiding that component or saving it for future use. Now let's begin with the initial setup required before we can start adding components to our videos. You could choose to proceed with the default video template and components provided by NextWeave. However, I've gone ahead and deleted all the default components and I'm going to show you how to add your very own background video. Click on the background video button which will launch the background video model. Now there are four ways in which you can upload or select a new background video. The first is that you click on click to upload and choose a video from your own files. The second option is that you enter a video URL. However, please note that this URL must be linked to a video in an MP4 format posted within your CDN. So a YouTube video or a Vimeo link will not suffice here. The third option is to search within our integrated stock video library. So you can type in keywords and select the video of your choice. The final option is to select an existing video from your media gallery. Now the media gallery contains all the recently uploaded videos. So I'm going to choose one of my recently uploaded videos as my chosen background video for this template. Now let's move on to the second step of the initial setup. Navigate to the Enlist Variables tab. This is where you can create a list of variables that you can later on personalize and these variables can be inputted inside the video. By default, username as a variable will be added. For any variable you want to include, just click on Add Variable, write a variable name and set a default or fallback value to it. Remember to click on Save Template. All these variables can then be employed inside the template you are currently editing. We're now ready to start adding components to our video. Components are divided into three parts. The first is the basic components. The second is advanced components or advanced widgets. And the third is the save components. So for the purpose of this video, our focus is mainly going to be on the basic components. You can refer to our additional resources to learn about advanced components and save components as well. Let's start by adding a text component to our video. Click on the text style. You'll see it'll appear on the video as well as its properties will open up on the right. You can drag the text box on the canvas to position it as well as adjust its size from the edges. From the components manager, first set the start and end time or the duration for which you want this to appear in the video. So I'm going to leave this at one second and change the end time to 4.5 seconds. To edit the content 
or that is displayed inside this text box, under properties, click on content tools. So you can adjust the text that appears and personalize it using the select variable from list dropdown. So all the variables that we created in the endless variables tab will appear here. Note that you can go back at any point during the video creation or editing process and add more variables or delete them. Now I'm going to remove this default text. I'm going to set this to hi there username. So I can replace these username values with actual names from my audience list and this is how it's going to be personalized. Under content tools, you can also set the font family, the font size, weightage, alignment, decoration and the font color. Under design tools, you can adjust additional properties for the selected component such as the background color, the border as well as the border color, the border weight and radius styles such as opacity and the size of the text box. You can also set the 3D warp which allows you to add a three-dimensional perspective to a video. Animation tools lets you set the transition and animations of any component selected in a video. Simply choose in, during or out to set up the relevant animation or transition. So I'm setting the entry animation for this text component to a simple fade in from the left of the screen and I've set the duration to one second. Now we'll take a closer look at the interaction tools when we add a button component to this video. To add a button to the video, go back to the components tab and this time click the button tile. Now the button settings are very similar to the settings for a text component as well. So you can add content tools, you can adjust the background, border, under design tools, add animations to it in very much the same way. So I'm going to speed through that now. Now let's take a closer look at the interaction tools. There are four types of interactive settings available within next week. After selecting your interaction type, in this case redirect, you can specify the website that you want your audience or your viewer to be redirected to. This could be a checkout page, a sales page, any other link that you have in mind. Next, we have the interactive settings of pause and checkpoint. This dictates the behavior of the video till the viewer interacts with the set component. You can learn more about the available interactive settings as well as the pause and checkpoint settings from our additional resources. We're now done with editing our video. Always remember to click on save direct to save your efforts. Before we close out the editor, the last thing we need to do is define the template details under the define meta tab. Here, you can set up a template name as well as assign it a category. In addition to that, you can also use the variables inside the template to personalize the URL for the template as well as the social preview for it. You can learn about social previews from our additional resources. Once your template is saved, you will be able to access it and view it and make edits to it from within your personal template library. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Now go ahead and explore the next week platform and create some engaging personalized and interactive videos. Do have a look at our resources so that you can use NextWeave to the best of its abilities. These include our YouTube channel which will contain additional tutorials just like this one, our knowledge base which can be found on this URL, as well as our Facebook group which contains a whole community of NextWeave users for you to exchange ideas with. Thank you so much for watching.